70% of the work you do in your US application journey is selecting the right school out of the 4,000 different options. I went through the R1 universities to find those with an acceptance rate of at least 88% and I found 7 universities with one as high as 96.3% but that isn't the highest. So in this video, I'll be showing you the 7 universities and you can be sure they are all highly rated schools because they are R1 universities just like Harvard, Stanford and MIT. This is the video I wish I had watched before I started my applications. I definitely wouldn't have done my masters in an R2 university. You also want to watch till the end because you get a bonus as well. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by because we need you. It's Zubi here and I'm a PhD student here in the US. Subscribers to this channel are students who want to balance all areas of their lives. If that sounds like you, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you very much. In ascending order, the first school is the University of Mississippi with an acceptance rate of 88%. So this is the page of graduate programs at the University of Mississippi. We can see accountancy, ah, the different M's <laughs> and PhD program, athletic training, public health, social welfare, education, engineering, journalism, liberal arts. There are like so many programs that they offer. If you don't know what an R1 university means, simply put, their university is rated by the Carnegie classification as universities with very high research activities. This means that every year they publish a lot of highly ranked research papers. There are 146 R1 universities and they are well funded by the government and research bodies. This means they have scholarships and funding for their students. I'll put a link to this document in the description below. The second university is the Arizona State University with an acceptance rate of 88.4%. So this is the page of graduate degrees at Arizona State University. There are 592 degrees <laughs> at grad school level. Wow, that's a lot. Trial science, nursing, geography PhD, German, master's level. So they are, you have quite a lot of options to choose from here. Getting these schools is just the first step in your application journey. I'll tell you the other steps later in the video. The third school is the Iowa State University with an acceptance rate of 88.4%. So this is a list of graduate programs at Iowa State University. Accounting, it's like all schools offer accounting. <laughs> Sociology, interior design, math, earth science, linguistics, cyber security. There are so many options to choose from. I guess not as many as Arizona State, but we still have quite a number of schools here. The fourth university is the University of Kansas with an acceptance rate of 90.9%. Now this is the page of the graduate programs at the University of Kansas. First of all, I have to say I don't like the way the website looks. I couldn't find a page that has all the programs together, just like the other ones I've been exploring. If when you are going through the website looking for your program, you come across that kind of page. Please drop the link in the description below to help other students that are interested in studying there. Alright, so School of Architecture, there are quite a number of programs here, architecture and design. Then you have business programs as well, labor arts and sciences, American studies, anthropology, economics, English, geology, history. There are so many options to choose from. If you've gotten value from this video so far, I would like to invite you to give this video a like. Please hit the like button below. It helps the video to get to more eyes that are interested in seeing schools that they can apply to. Thank you very much. The fifth school is the Kansas State University with an acceptance rate of 94.1%. Now this university is different from the University of Kansas which we just explored. So on their graduate program page, they have 40 PhD programs. 78 masters and then some other certificates. Um, they have a lot of courses here, accountancy, as we just as we said earlier, agribusiness, air quality. Wow, people study air quality. Okay. Chemistry, civil engineering, um, counseling and student development, um, curriculum, data analytics. So oh, we have my program. That's nice. Entomology, geography, personal finance planning. Wow. Wow, people study personal finance planning, okay. So for each of these schools, you want to check if they have the program that you want to study 
and you also want to check funding the available funding options for your program do they offer assistantships do they offer tuition waivers do you have to get funding externally these are things that you want to check on the program's website the sixth school is the university of new mexico with an acceptance rate of 96.3 percent this is the grad studies webpage that has the programs at the university of new mexico quite a couple of programs here math english art science creative writing dance music hmm, nice interesting dental hygiene okay architecture nursing nutrition special education computer science and the seventh school having the highest acceptance rate that i saw is the university of kentucky with an acceptance rate of 96.4 percent wow so out of 100 people that apply it's only four that they reject wow that's a lot of admissions this is your graduate programs webpage, university of kentucky accounting as usual <laughs> biostatistics communication dentistry oh they also have data science nice finance german um, material design music therapy mm, that's interesting political science sociology and veterinary science for watching till this point i'll be giving you another university as a bonus which is the university of texas at arlington with an acceptance rate of 87.7 percent these are the graduate programs at the University of Texas at Arlington. There are several locations of the University of Texas, so you want to be sure it's the one at Arlington that you're checking. So accounting, arts, biology, business analytics, education, electrical management, exercise science, go to the last page, quantitative biology, real estate. Hmm. People study real estate in school. Software engineering, taxation, urban planning. Quite a lot of programs here. When applying to these universities, you need to pay an application fee that might range from like $45 to as high as $120, but that can be waived. There are four ways you can get that waived and you can find out here. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you over there. Bye.